Well, legend has it that an ancient Sicilian king would dress like a commoner and then sneak out to gorge himself on peasant food banned in the royal court, pizza. A few hundred years later, that delicious combination of crust, cheese, and sauce creates such universal delight, it has become an American economic indicator. Yes, you can actually tell the depth of the recession by how many pepperoni supremes come out of the oven each day, and John Berman tells us why. A slice of heaven, a batch of bubbling beauty, a literal piece de resistance. They're really good. But that pizza isn't just a beacon of gooey, cheesy goodness. No, it turns out these days, pizza is delivering a taste of economic goodness. There are more than 65,000 pizza parlors in the U.S., with more popping up each day. And this year, Americans ordered more than 5.5 billion pies. Yes, the slice seems remarkably recession resistant. So you've opened new locations? Yes, we've opened up five locations within the past year and a half. No way. Yes. That's right. Opening stores, hiring workers, and selling pizza. Lots of it, albeit cheap. So the 99 cent pizza business is booming. Absolutely. Ryan Harley is the director of operations for 99 cent fresh pizza. They sell slices for just 99 cents. Does it taste cheaper? Does it taste cheaper? I wouldn't say that this is high quality pizza, but it's not bad pizza either. I mean, you get your bucks worth. It tastes like pizza. Mm hmm But you won't claim it's the best pizza you've ever had. No, but it's not, the, it's not the worst. That should be your motto. Not the best pizza you've ever had, but not the worst. Hey, it's 99 cents. There you go. Yes, there is something about pizza. With the cost of dough, cheese, and sauce, they make about 30 cents a slice, but sell 500 pies per location per day. Not bad. Are you guys getting rich doing this? No, absolutely not. <laughs> but in this sluggish economy, cheap sells, cheese sells, and pizza sells. Just ask Pizza Hut and Domino's. Pizza Hut has lowered the price on every pizza on the menu. Last year, Pizza Hut introduced a $10 large pie with up to three toppings. Their business is up 8% in the last quarter. Domino's offers two mediums for $5.99 each. Their sales jumped 11.7% in the third quarter. And the success has spread upwards into what's called the casual dining sector. How's the pizza business? Getting better all the time. Frank Guadara is president and CEO of Uno. What are the perils of the pizza business? A lot of competition. Everybody wants to get into the pizza business because everybody eats pizza. How has pizza helped you pull out of the recession? Pizza in everybody's mind is affordable. So as a, as a restaurant, a lot of people come to us um, because they know we have pizza and they can afford pizza. No matter what the, the economy is, delicious, huh? It's very good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not even into the best part. The best part is over here. When you get to this crust and the ingredients, that's like I the, promise uh, I'll get that. <laughs> I'll tell you when I do. Okay. Pizza, Guadara says, is the food for every man. You think there's a pizza out there for everyone? There's no question about that. There is something about pizza. It's almost like a banana. You know, why do you eat bananas? It's easy. You peel the skin off. You, you don't have to wash your hands, and you can keep going to work. Almost the same thing here. I mean, you're, you have no grease on your, on your hands as you're yeah, uh, sitting on my there. face. <laughs> What's well, the cheese uh, that's dripping down? Uh. But if America is now in the midst of a pizza paradise, more pizza, not everyone is totally happy to be there. Jim Leahy is the owner and master baker at Company. And you think most of the pizza business is concerned about what? Money. 99.9% .9 of the pizza industry is all about money, 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 money. He's convinced that pizza as we know it is in need of a serious makeover. There is something about pizza, he says, but... It's the most ubiquitous form or genre of food. It's the most globally recognized. That and bread are the most globally recognized food genres, yet they're the dumbest. So you don't think... Because, because of their, the democratization of it brings the standard down. You think most pizza's dumb? I think most pizza is inedible. So you lament. You think, you think this pizza craze, this pizza moment we're in, is, is a bad thing? Mm, no, I mean, it's a reaction. It's like the market responding to a change of circumstances. There was a, something called a recession two years ago. People were reacting to that 
that change in the market. I mean, even to a certain degree, I mean, I, I always look at food that's, that's good, healthy, and accessible. Do I have like stuff all over my head? No, no, no. just a little spinach in your teeth, don't worry about it. Don't worry about roundness, just focus on the edge and rotating it, because it will become round. And then you're gonna take a little bit of cheese, Gruyere. He taught me how to make his celebrated Popeye pizza. Now I'm gonna put it right here. Put some spinach, a little bit of spinach on top. That's a whole salad. Unfortunately, the way most people are programmed to look at pizza, it's like a sloppy, wet, messy pool of... Uh, a sloppy, You can wet. use this word, we're on very late at okay. night. It's not like, I'm not criticizing anything, I'm just saying that's just reality. Seriously, you gotta have it, you gotta, you gotta have it. His reality is good too. Seriously. But if it's a piece of the old reality that you want, there is nowhere more old school than Defara's in Brooklyn. If you had to guess, how many pizzas would you say you've made in your lifetime? Oh, it must be like a million. A million pizzas? Yeah, yeah. Dominic DeMarco has been making the pizza here himself for 50 years. You think you make the best pizza in New York? Well, let other people say it, I'm not gonna say it. But you think, you think it's good? I think it's good. So good he charges five bucks a slice. And people love it, no matter what the cost. How's business? It's very good. Yeah. Have you noticed any changes in business the last few years when the economy suffered? No, How I, was business? I, I never feel it. You never feel it at all? Mm -hmm. You know there was a big recession out there. I never feel it. Not at all? Not at all. You're lucky. I guess I am. <laughs> yes, there is something about pizza. It puts cheese in your mouth. It's delicious. Mm. A smile on your face and money in a lot of wallets. I'm John Berman for Nightline in New York.